Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. Okay, I fell in a big truck, hit the door mirror on my Mazda 6. It's a 2008 Mazda 6, and most of the mirror is gone. And I'm going to show you how I changed it now. Here we go. So I priced this mirror in a breaker's yard, and he was looking for 80 euro for it. Um, and down the road in, in a local motor factors, I was able to get this mirror for 70 euro. So I, I think they're around that on eBay as well or Amazon. Um, but very easy to change. I think there's only four bolts. I've never changed one of these before, but I think there's only four bolts on the back of this. We're going to undo them, undo the, the clip and uh, get stuck in. I think you could probably do this in about 15 minutes if you weren't trying to do a video as well. But here we go. Now, to get this off, we just take the tweeter cover off and that gives us access to the bolts on the back of the mirror. Now, you might break a couple of clips. Uh, if that happens, the clips are, you know, very, very cheap and easy to replace. So look, just going to grab this and pull it towards me. Right, here's one off. Now, careful, don't just reef at it because the, uh, there we go, there's the second off. And the tweeter, in this case, right, so the tweeter came out of the housing. I've got the tweeter just hanging there. So to get this mirror off, there's three 8mm bolts. I thought they were 10s, but they're not, they're 8mm. So I'm just going to quickly take them off. Um, I'll use the impact driver to do it, just because I have it. There's one. One of them I'm going to have to use a spanner to get off because it's in behind the door panel. And I don't want to pull the door panel, if I can help it. Okay, so that's two off. Let me get that one. Right, so we've only one left. I'm just going to throw them on the floor of the car. Now, the third one I won't be able to get with the impact driver or even a socket. Um, I'm going to have to use a little ring spanner to get down behind this. Yeah, so that's working. Now, I might have to take the door panel. I'm hoping not. And you can see that this is getting wobbly already, so good, it's coming off. Yeah, I can get it by hand. So that's the third and final bolt out. Now I have to disconnect the uh, the cable. So to get the cable to, to separate, just press hard on that, on that part, and it'll come out. Just show you that again. To get it to separate, just press hard on the piece nearest to the car. In my case, it clicked, and it came out. Right, this is not exactly an unboxing, right? There's the box. <laughs> There's what's in it. All right. So it comes with the outer shell primed. That's the only thing, like, uh, you know, if you buy it off Mazda, maybe you'll get the right color. But uh, I have to actually paint this, so that's an extra cost. Unless, of course, you like gray, which I might. <laughs> All right, let's see about fitting it. As I said, this thing is only a few minutes, so I'll just grab one of these little bolts and, uh, and a ratchet, eight mil ratchet. So I'm gonna hook the wire up first. It only goes on the one way, so it's easy. So just line up your little tab in the socket. I know I'm in the way. Right, that's it. It does actually push in. Yeah, clicked in as well. Now that's the little wire home. I'm just going to push that in here. So that socket, that plug that contains the wires, that lives inside the mirror end of it rather than in the car end of it. So I'm just after, you know, locating it and pushing it back in. It's hard to see on camera, but you'll, you'll know if you're doing it. And then I'm just looking to locate the pins. Okay, a little bit fiddly to get the pins to line up and the wires to line up and the whole lot. But I've done that now. So I'm just going to put the first screw back in. So these are coarse thread. They're designed to go into plastic. So they're going to go into that locator. There's one in. Okay, I'm just going to put that in with the little driver as I have one. Obviously, you could do this with a little ratchet just as easy. Right, that's one in. So just two more bolts to put back in. These are easy to get back in, but uh, the second one, the last one is going to be harder because it's down under, under the door panel. So I'm just putting this in by hand first. Okay, started it by hand and driven in. So this is an impact driver. If I keep going on that bolt, obviously I'm going to, you know, break it. So I'm just using it for speed. Now, one more to get in. This one has to go in with a spanner and I risk losing it down into the door panel if I'm not careful. Okay, I'm using a spanner that I've re that you know I shaved down for another job before, so it's a bit rusty. But just 8 mil spanner, and I'm just using the open end on it, no problem. I can use the ring on it now. 
Now this looks like a very handy job, three bolts to get it out, you know. Um, the only thing I had difficulty with was get locating the pins and that's just, a, you know, I was trying to do it quick. But that said, you'd, you'd knock this together, you know, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And if you're doing it all the time, probably five minutes. Okay. I'm just going to check them all with the spanner. Yeah, nice. The last one. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so it's nice and solid. Now, I haven't tried it yet. Before I put everything back together, we'll just give it a shot. So I'm just going to check out that mirror there. Yeah, look. Lovely. That's perfect. So I'm delighted with that. Now I just have to put the little tweeter back on. I'll show you that now. I broke one of these clips, so I could pull that out. Um, I don't have any clips here, I don't think. Uh, maybe I do. I'd have to find it though. So look, tweeter just goes into the housing. Just do that now. And then this is gonna go back in. Just find where that, you know, plastic um, clip goes into. Okay, it's there. And that's it, it's back on in seconds. Now all that's left is to put this little cover on. So I haven't put one of these on before, it's primered. You know, I could take it off again to spray it or I could spray it on the car. Obviously I can't leave it grey, it looks a bit crap. If it was black, I might have left it. But uh, here we go, look, I'm going to put it on the car now. Okay, see how it goes together. And that's it. So there you go, that's a Mazda door mirror put on in about 15, 20 minutes. And that's kind of messing around with cameras and that sort of thing as well. There's only three 8mm bolts and figure out how to get the, uh, the, the wiring loom disconnected. You know, it's just on a... Um, a connector just push down on the connector and they'll separate nice and easy uh, if you don't get it pushed down properly they won't separate but other than that very very easy to do and i didn't have to take off the inside door panel so thanks very much mazda so 70 euro and it's fixed myself i don't have to pay anybody to do it so uh yeah great success and it works which is fantastic i need to put a bit of paint on this so that's probably you know to get paint matched to the car in, in a, an aerosol probably about 18 20 euro something like that so, uh, you know, not a cheap day out, probably half the value of the car. <laughs> Car's not worth an awful lot, but it drives really well. So look, I'm gonna leave it there for now. If you liked the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here if you wouldn't mind, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now, good luck.